but you probably never saw him before, so it doesn't really matter. Wave goodbye to my biggest fans. I was talking about the ceiling fans. I have no idea who any of those people are. Uh, but folks, welcome to the world famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Kate. I just need you guys on your back pockets for me. I'm going to be your skipper for as far as we get. But even more importantly, if you don't laugh at my jokes, I will be your swimming instructor. <laughs> Off to a great start. To increase your chances of survival out here, please remain seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. Parents, please supervise your children, and please no eating or drinking on board. Now, we start our journey here in the Amazon rainforest, where it rains 365 days a year. I don't know if you guys know, that's almost every single day. Now, to either side of the boat right here are some larger-than-life butterflies. Uh, they do have a really impressive wingspan, anywhere from one foot to a whopping 12 inches. That's why they're the rulers of the jungle. Yeah, true monarchs. Really, just take a seat for me, buddy, okay? Take a seat for me. Now, this right here, this is Inspiration Falls. Now, a lot of people ask, why is this called Inspiration Falls? Um, the longer that you stare into that running water, the more it will inspire you to go. <laughs> deeper and deeper into the jungle. Everybody say, ooh. ooh. Everybody say, ah. Oh. That is some inspiration if I've ever heard it. Now we are entering the Congo River in the deepest, darkest part of Central Africa. So let's see how far we can go. But exciting news, if you haven't seen the Jungle Book, we have it for you right there. In 3D. Incredible. Now I did plan us a pygmy welcoming party. You gotta sit down, buddy. Stay seated for me. Um, I did plan us a pygmy welcoming party. It's going to be really great, and uh, all my friends are going to be there. <laughs> this is awkward. None of my friends showed up. Um, this reminds me of my 16th birthday party, but it's okay. Something had to have scared them off. That's the only logical explanation. Like that snake. Do you guys know what type of snake that is? It starts with a P. Python is a great guess, um, but that snake is actually plastic. Now, we are going to stop by my camp for just a few things. Oh, no. It looks like I have some unwanted visitors. Um, okay, guys, don't make any noises or movements like a banana. They really find that appealing. I couldn't get my Jeep started this morning, though. It looks like they got it to turn over. They might have used a monkey wrench. May have called Triple A. I don't really know. But we are entering the Nile River now. It's the longest river in the world. Um, it goes on for Niles and Niles and Niles and Niles. And if you don't believe me, you're probably in Africa. We're in Africa. Now, that's an African elephant. Do you know how we can tell it's an African elephant? It lives in Africa, yeah. Now, I taught this one a trick. Speak. Louder. Spray the boat. We're still working on that one. Uh, but that right there, that's a sandstone rock formation. I point this out because a lot of people take it for granted. Um, I personally think it's one of the bolder attractions we have out here, though. So I really hope you guys think it rocks. And this is the African belt. It is home to a ton of wildlife, as you guys can see. We've got those really tall cheetahs back there. Um, those things that look like deer. Those beasts that killed Mufasa. Oh, and guys, would you look at this? This is so sweet. Those lions are protecting that sleeping zebra. Aww. Ah, zebra looks dead. Tired. Dead tired. Um, we're going to let him rest in pieces. Oh, my goodness. Are you guys seeing this? This is crazy. I've never seen anything quite like this before. Um, guys, there's like a billion rocks on that beach. Wow. Now, there at the bottom uh, is my friend Ina. Everybody say hi, Ina. Hi. <laughs> now, if you guys look over here, um, you're going to see a whole bunch of plants that grow out here in the jungle. These are rare and exotic plants like these right here with the big green leaves. Um, but if you look behind the plants over here with the big green leaves, you're going to see absolutely nothing. We call that a distraction, folks. Now, behind me here, this is Schweitzer Falls. Schweitzer Falls is named after the founder of the Jungle Navigation Company, Dr. Albert Falls. Yep, as we go by, you're going to feel a nice, refreshing mist on your face. Do you feel that? That mist is home to 900 types of jungle bacteria. You'll know what I mean in about 48 hours. Um, but a lot of people ask me, Skipper Kate, how'd you land your job out here? It's plain to see. I took a crash course. Now I'm just winging it. Obviously, my career didn't really take off the way I had hoped. Um, 
but I don't want to bore you guys. Okay, that's the tail end of that story. But you know what a downed airplane in the jungle means, right? Hippos. Hippos are really dangerous creatures, uh, probably one of the most dangerous animals in the whole entire world. I don't know if you guys know, just one of these hippos actually has enough strength to capsize our entire boat. Stay seated for me, princess. Stay seated for me. Now, um, yeah, last week these hippos did capsize six boats here on the Jungle Cruise, but um, don't worry, okay? Only five of the boats were mine, so you guys are all in great hands. You have absolutely nothing to be worried about. Um, except we are entering headhunter territory, and that is a terrible place to be headed. If you don't believe me, you can ask my last crew over there. They were a bunch of boneheads. But when the natives dance in a circle like this, it usually means one of two things. They could have forgotten how to square dance, or they could be planning an ambush. So guys, keep your eyes peeled for anything out of the ordinary. Um, like that ambush, get down!
My name is really not that important <laughs> now, is it? 